I have purposely left out delta time from the player script because I wanted you to see the effects of speed variables and jump variables on the player before you apply delta time. So what is delta time? Delta time is the time elapsed since the last frame was rendered and it is a very crucial parameter in game engines to ensure smooth and consistent gameplay across different hardware configurations. So for example, if you have a player with a higher hardware configuration and you've got a player with a lower hardware configuration, they will have two different frame rates. So the delta time will be different for those two players. And if you apply that to your calculations, you will get a smooth and consistent movement between the two different hardware configurations. So by using delta time, you can ensure that game elements such as animations, movements, physics simulations, are independent of the frame rate and will allow for a more predictable and uniform experience for the players and that will be regardless of their processing power. So you are effectively decoupling the behavior of the game elements from the rendering frame rate and that's by factoring in that delta time. So for example, if we apply delta time to our speed value, we are adjusting the speed value proportionally to the elapsed time. So for instance, if the frame rate is very high, the delta time will be quite small. So the speed value is multiplied by a smaller number and that effectively reduces the movement per frame. But on the other hand, if the frame rate is low, the delta time will be much larger and the speed value is multiplied by a larger number which compensates for a longer time between frames and maintains that consistent movement speed across different frame rates. So this will ensure that the movement of the player character is not affected by varying frame rates and will provide a uniform experience for all players on different hardware. So let's head over to our player script and let's start adding the delta time to some of our methods. If we have a look at the player falling state, we can just multiply the current gravity by delta, so that's quite an, an easy change. And then let's look at our movement. So if we go to our player run method, we can see that on the velocity x axis, we are not multiplying our direction and speed by the delta time. So let's add that. And then in the move toward, we'll need to also multiply that by delta as well. So let's run that. Let's see what the effect. So as you can see, the character is running, but a much slower pace. And that is because we are multiplying now by the delta time. And now that we're multiplying by the speed value, we are now scaling this. So we need to increase the value of our speed. So what we can do, we'll increase that to 1000. And let's run that again. And then in the velocity x equals direction times speed, just plus equals that value here. And let's run that again. So as you can see, that is much faster. So what we need to do though, we'll need to clamp the value because that's an exponential growth value now. So let's put a clamp in there and that will control that speed. We want to say, don't go any faster than a specific maximum speed. Let's stop that. Let's create a new variable. We'll call this maximum horizontal speed. So say max. And we'll make that 300, which was the original speed value. And here we'll clamp the value. So we'll just say well, velocity.x equals We'll clamp velocity x, maximum horizontal speed, and then the max horizontal speed again. So this is less than, so it's minus 300 and 300 here. So let's run the game. So as you can see, the speed is much better when running.
and we can't go above 300 and stop that so now that we've finished improving the player run method we can do something similar to our player jump method as you can see in the direction we are jumping horizontally but we are not adding any delta time there so let's make those changes so if we go back to our parameters at the top let's make an adjustment to this parameter name we'll call it jump horizontal speed and what we'll do we'll give that a value also of 1000 so when we jump in midair we will apply that value to it so let's update the script and then multiply that by delta time it's already got the plus equals on there so we can leave that and then we'll do the same with the clamp method so let's copy and paste the clamp method but we'll need a new variable so let's call this max jump horizontal speed so we'll copy this and then we'll keep that also at 300 so when we're jumping in midair we've got the same velocity speed as when we're running on the ground but you can change this value because we are now exporting them Back in the jump method, let's replace those two values. And let's run the game to see what this does. And as you can see, that is now fixed the jump. And as we run and jump, you can see that the player slides on the floor. So as the player is hitting the floor, the move towards method is applying a little bit of sliding. And what we can do, we can also control that. We we'll go back to the script. And in this move towards method, we can change this variable here and adjust it so that when the player hits the floor on landing and or stops running, that the slide is either greater or smaller. And you can then adjust that speed. So what we'll do, we'll create a new parameter variable. And we'll call this slow down speed it's an integer variable and I will choose a thousand for now and then just copy that and pop that and replace the speed variable in that move toward so what we can do is like run the game again and let's see what the impact of that is so I feel that there's still a little bit too much sliding when the character player is landing on the platform. So I'm going to adjust this to 1700. And that's a little bit less. Let's put it to something really large. yeah yeah so this is not as much sliding so i'm going to put that back to 1700 and then stop that so if you go back to your player node you can now see that in the script you've now exported all these variables so you can feel free to modify these and perfect the speed of the character and also the jump and the jump horizontal speed until you have something that feels right for yourself.